What's going on you guys? Welcome back to our channel. We're gonna be voicing all of our unpopular opinions and we're gonna try to convince you to believe them with us. So let's get into it. Oh great. to convince me of some of your yes. unpopular opinions? So I'm gonna have to convince her because she doesn't agree with me on everything. And that's okay, we don't have to agree on everything. But the goal that's is to try to convince the other person of the other argument, so let's get into this. <laughs> but you agree with me mainly because I'm right and my opinions are better than yours. <laughs> <sighs> okay, here we go. Now this one comes from Jordan Charity Hates Herself. Girls are as strong as guys. Okay, so this goes like, uh, it just goes back really far. So Nathan always likes to bring up the fact that guys are just naturally stronger than girls and blah, 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 which I can understand kind of, but I think that girls can be just as strong as guys and Nathan doesn't seem to agree with me. In some cases, like a girl that works out a ton can be as strong as a guy, but naturally, okay. Naturally, a guy is going to be stronger most of the time in most cases. And I don't agree with that, so that's why. So you're telling me. Is. So you're telling me if we got in a fist fight right now, you you would have a chance of winning. <laughs> no, one, you're a way bigger guy than me. Two, you have been going to the gym way longer than me. Okay, so Valentino so, White Cell, you could beat him up in a fight. <laughs> yes, absolutely, I could. Uh oh. <laughs> so my point is that you have to take a random amount of people from all over and then you would have to see. You can't just take me and you because we have a ton of differences. All right, so our homework next week is to do a case study. We'll get back to you with the details. Pineapple on pizza. This one comes from Jordan as well. Um, now personally, I don't have a problem with this one. My mouth is like a bottomless pit. <laughs> I will literally eat anything. I don't necessarily prefer pineapple on, pineapple on pizza, but I don't necessarily sway to either side. So Jordan, explain why pineapple goes on pizza. <laughs> There's no explanation. It's just pineapple goes on pizza. That is the explanation. That's a fact. Yeah. You can take it to the bank. All right. Or you could just order some pineapple pizza and tell me that I'm right. All right. That works too. All right, next one. Um, so unpopular opinion, which I don't think is that unpopular because I've met plenty of people who agree with me. The Office sucks. It's the most horrendous show I've ever watched. Okay, it's not the most horrendous, but it's not my favorite. I don't like it. Let me throw a statistic out there for you guys, okay? Oh gosh. So The Office is the most watched show on Netflix. I saw this on Twitter. Twitter's not always right. But it is right about this. I saw this on Twitter. If you do the math out as far as like bandwidth goes, actual bandwidth, The Office makes up 1% of the bandwidth on all of the internet. Like 1% of the internet is people using it to watch The Office. How crazy is that? Now, there's like billions and billions of computers and, and phones out there. Point proven. I'm right, Jordan is wrong. That's a fact. Well, guess what? <laughs> Next, Netflix sucks too then. Just kidding, I love Netflix. Yeah, we love Netflix. Um, next one, and this is my unpopular opinion, is fake Christmas trees are better. And let me tell you why. Is because when I was a child, a lot of the times we would go and get a real tree. And even for my church, I would have to, I would be the one responsible or at least helping out with loading the, the real tree into like the place where we we're gonna decorate it and stuff. And let me tell you guys, every stinking year, my hands were full of sap and I just felt dirty and gross afterwards and it ruined all my clothes. And I'm telling you guys, a fake tree looks exactly the same. The only difference is the smell and that it, it's so much less work. So I'm telling you guys, fake trees always better. I do not care about having a real tree. I can't argue, um, I've never been, I, I've never had a preference, real tree, fake tree. It doesn't matter to me. Cool, all right. Unpopular opinion, Milo loves head scratches. Oh yes, <laughs> she's loving it. <laughs> Just kidding, that's probably a very popular opinion. Yeah, very popular, yeah. okay. Next one, McDonald's coffee is good. And this is my unpopular opinion. I drink McDonald's coffee probably two or three times a week. That's because he doesn't actually have an opinion of coffee. I'm not like 
picky about food or drinks or anything. It tastes like coffee to me. It tastes like the same thing that comes out of my coffee machine. So I can't complain. That's because what comes out of our coffee machine isn't that good either. But you can't right, compare like McDonald's to Starbucks or something. Or like an actual coffee place. I honestly feel like McDonald's coffee is better than Starbucks. Ew, no, absolutely not. When it comes to like, okay, well, when it comes to like regular black, black coffee. Yeah. I'm just talking about regular black coffee, that's what I drink. I'm gonna get a lot of dislikes for this, but that's okay because it's what I believe and I'm sticking with it, is that Beyonce is overrated. Oh. I don't get it. I don't know why you don't get Explain it. Explain to me why everybody loves Beyonce. Because she's great. Because she's an inspiration. So is The Office. <laughs> oh my gosh, way different, first of all. No, it's the same thing. No, absolutely not. Okay, you're overrated. Next. So this is my unpopular opinion. But if you try it, I don't think it would be unpopular. Brown eggs are way better than white eggs. There is a difference. There really is a difference. So go try some brown eggs and then tell me that there is a difference because brown eggs are way better. And then try some green eggs and ham and tell me that brown eggs are still good. So here's another unpopular opinion of mine. And this goes back to even when I was eating meat. Bacon is terrible. Like the worst thing you could ever eat. I don't mean just like for you. I mean like it tastes disgusting. I mean, I like bacon. <laughs> That's all I'll say about that. I like bacon. She's baking me crazy, am I right? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Her mom's gonna love that when she watches it. <laughs> All right, next on popular opinion, and both of us agree on this one actually, is Birkenstocks with socks is always the way to go. Always. I don't know if I agree with that. I personally prefer my Birkenstocks without socks. Okay, Birkenstocks with socks are not bad. Yes. That's a fact. I will agree with that. I don't mind Birkenstocks and socks. Nutella is overrated. No, absolutely I've, not. I've tried it like two or three times and I've never seen what the big deal is. People like eat eat it by the spoonful, I don't understand. Nutella is fantastic. <laughs> Anything vanilla sucks. Chocolate is the way to go. Chocolate ice cream, chocolate cupcakes, chocolate cake. Anything you could do to chocolate is the way to go. Vanilla, anything, gross. I agree, actually. It's just, it's literally plain. Like, it's just nasty. I go into Dairy Queen Chocolate and they, Extreme Blizzard, that's what he gets. I go into Dairy Queen and they say, Chocolate Extreme, and I say, you know it. <laughs> that shows you go to Dairy Queen way too much. <laughs> yeah, well, the point is that chocolate is always the way to go. Fireworks are lame. Now, this one is mine. I might, I'm probably wrong, but in my town of Hermes in Oregon, they suck. I don't think I've ever seen, a, like, a great show, so maybe that's the problem. But um, I would love to see a great show sometime, and then maybe I will change this one. Yeah, fun fact, I sent Nathan um, some Snapchats of my 4th of July back home in New York, and he was in shock because he said that Hermiston has nothing like that. So I'm not excited to be in Hermiston for this 4th of July, so we'll see where we actually go because 4th of July is actually Milo's birthday, so we have to go celebrate with good fireworks. Speaking of Milo's birthday, the next one on the list is black dogs are the cutest dog, cuter than any other dog. Look at this face. I can't see it. <laughs> Look at that face. Look at it. How could you not like that face? <laughs> Explain to me. Let us know what you think. But uh, if you think against us, you're wrong. <laughs> That's a fact. I think cold pizza is nasty. I know people who will order pizza the night before, eat it hot, and then they put it in the fridge, and then the next morning, they'll just eat cold pizza. And I'm like, no, no. Cold pizza was meant to be hot. That's why they serve you hot pizza. That's why it comes hot and ready from, what is that? Little Caesars, hot and ready. That's the way it should be. Not cold and nasty. Next one, Post Malone's first album is his best album. Okay, so I didn't really listen to Post Malone, his first album. I listened to like maybe one or two songs, like the popular ones, you know? But I didn't listen to the whole thing, so I can't really give a fair opinion. But that's kind of saying something because I listened to his whole second album and I liked it. So maybe his second album was just better. I don't know. I don't know, honestly. There's something about his first album that was just better to me. Maybe it was more that it had like, more of like a hip hop -y type sound, hippity hoppity type sound. Hippity hoppity? Hippity hoppity. <laughs> You're weird. 
But personally, I just liked his first album better. Maybe it was more of the nostalgia of it for me because um, the summer that I found him uh, was a really good summer, so maybe that was it. I don't know. I don't think this is really either of our unpopular opinion, but it is a, an unpopular opinion um, in some states, and that is West Coast is Best Coast. Well, I've lived on both coasts, and I don't know. I lived in Jacksonville, Florida. I lived in Long Island, New York, and now I'm in Hermiston, Oregon. So what can I really say? I recently visited the East Coast and it wasn't that bad. It was it was actually very enjoyable. I've been to LA, I've been to Portland, I've been to see Seattle. I don't know. I mean I mean I've been to a lot of places, but I lived there. It's different yeah. being there and living there. I don't think that either coast is really that bad to be honest. So whatever you get whatever you guys want to believe, we don't care. You believe it. I'm a better singer than you. <laughs> no, I'm a better singer than you. We're gonna we're gonna have we're gonna sing together in one of our upcoming videos. Yes, we are. And we're gonna have you guys vote in the comments which one you think is the best singer. I already know that you guys are gonna take Jordan's side. I already know that. So I'm prepared, but you guys aren't gonna you guys are gonna take me down. I'm still gonna <laughs> That's because he knows I'm better than him. No. Yes. We're we're equal. We're even Steven. No, no, we're, we're not. Short story long, we're even Steven. Okay. Okay. Whatever you have to tell yourself at night. Next one, sports are overrated. That's because you are not good at any sports. I hate, I don't, I don't. Okay, fun <laughs> fact for you. When I was a wee little lad. And he was very fat. <laughs> I was probably five foot three, 190 pounds. Um, That's really fat if you were wondering. <laughs> um, I, I was probably in like third or fourth grade and I played like gr what's called grid kids football It's like all the same rules as regular football. You tackle each other um, You know all the same stuff. I was a great center and nose guard because I was so big and I would always get the sacks and I would do great but now that I'm a grown-up, I don't know. It's not that it's not that I hate sports. It's that I don't see why people get so crazy about it. Like people get so excited about it. Like they put on face paint and stuff like that, and they go crazy. All I'm saying is, if we got one percent that excited about the Lord, you know what I mean? Oh my gosh. <laughs> but really, though, I mean, honestly, I don't disagree. But like, I do disagree. You know? No. <laughs> Last one, Girl Scout cookies are not good. That's oh my gosh. Not that good, I should say. Because, let me explain. No, I could gain 100 pounds off of Girl Scout cookies. Tag along and Samoas, send them my way. <laughs> I don't know, I just, why pay, why buy Girl Scout cookies when you can just get some Oreos, you know? Like, Oreos are the best. No, not compared to Girl Scout cookies. We don't have to agree on everything. <laughs> Clearly we don't. This is the truth about marriage, is that you don't Tell have us, to, you don't have to agree on everything. You just have to love each other in the midst of each other's flaws. And, as and Nathan you, just has just seems to have a lot more flaws than me. I was gonna say the same thing about you actually. <laughs> so Wow. Anyway guys, that is the end of our unpopular opinions video. We hope you liked it. Make sure to smash that like button. It doesn't count if you it doesn't count if you click it, you have to smash it. And make sure to subscribe to our channel for 10 years good luck. This is not a scam. We'll be back next Friday with another video. Leave a comment. Let us know what you think about our video so far. We'd love to hear from you. Anyway, have a great week. We will see you next Friday.